morning, Year 6. I hope you're well. My name is Mrs England and I'm Deputy Head here at Ridlington, one of the deputies. Um, and I line manage Mrs Wilson, who is going to be your progress leader in Year 7. I'm sure you've met her before, but we'll show you her at the end of the video just to say hi. So we thought today that we would do a tour of our school for you to put onto the YouTube channel so that you can see where you're going to be in September when you become part of the Rhythington family. So at the moment, because we're in these really strange times of coronavirus and things, um, our school is, has got a one-way system. So we're going to use that today just to walk around, but I'll explain to you all the different areas of the school, hopefully show you as much as we can. And if you have any questions that you want to ask, either about the school, anything to do with transition, or about what to expect when you come to Rhythington, you email Mrs Wilson and we'll give you the email address in the link with this bio. Okay, so this is our atrium. So at the moment we've got our students who are the uh, children of key workers here in the school. And normally this is quite bustling and our year 11 students are allowed to use the atrium at break and lunch time to chill out, etc. We do like to encourage people to go outside and play at break and lunch time and I'm sure that's what you guys all want to be doing when you come up to Rhythmington. But our year 11s have a special privilege of being in here. The school is actually, if we go over to this map, the school is kind of a rugby ball shape. So we've just walked in through this main entrance and we're here in the atrium. It's a rugby ball shape and the really cool thing about it is if you keep going around in circles, you'll get back to the beginning so you can't get lost. Big problem at the minute though is that we had a bit of an issue with the roof in this corridor here. So this currently is closed off. However, the rest of the school we can go and have a look at. And we're gonna start by walking down what we call the ST corridor. So all the rooms in this corridor start with the letter ST because some of them are to do with science and some of them are to do with technology. Now, toilets around the school are labelled up for different year groups, so you'll have your own set of toilets in and out, and there's boys and girls toilets in there, and of course at the moment, 20 seconds, washing your hands, really important, and I'm sure that will be part of our lives as we come back to school in September as well. So we currently have these two metre distancing marks, remember we like to keep two metres apart at the moment during the coronavirus crisis. Um, and we're going to walk along the corridor and hopefully meet some of the really important people that you're going to see as you come up to Rivington. So, this is an example. Oh, sorry, Megan. it's okay. Come on in. This is an example of a science room that we have, currently being cleaned. <laughs> Say hi, miss. <laughs> um, and you can see it's really quite high tech in here. High tables, high stalls, and you've got all the gas taps. Lots of different experiments that you'll do when you come into your science lesson. So it's quite an exciting place to be. And we've got a lot of different science labs on the different floors in the school. We also have down here, a very important place, is the progress leader office. Now this is where you'll find Mrs Wilson and all of the other progress leaders in the different year groups. A special visitor we have in at the moment is Mrs Turner. Wait, Mrs Turner. And Mrs Turner is our welfare officer. And if you have any concerns or issues, in school, you can either go and see your tutor, Mrs Wilson, Mrs Turner, myself, and we will do whatever we can to help you out if there's a problem. So Mrs Turner, we'll see you later. Thank you. Bye. Bye. Um, also down this corridor then, we have one of our technology rooms. So you can do all sorts of tech. We have a food room, we have um, design technology, so woodwork, that kind of thing as well. So you can come on in here. Um, obviously, because nobody's in school at the moment, we're sort of looking like it's closed. Um, but there's lots of different equipment that you can use. We've got 3D printers, we've got laser cutters, you can use all the, the saws and things under supervision, of course, to keep safe. Um, and we make some really cool things in, in design technology uh, when you come up to Rhythington. So people have made all sorts of things from simple mug trees to uh, little toys that you can see there. You've got a, ro what's that, a rocking duck, which yeah, is very cool. So. Lots of different things that you can make. And of course, there is food technology as well. And if we have time, we will nip into the food room too. Okay, let's carry on around our current one-way system. In fact, one thing to show you here. As a tutor group, you will be based in a room around the school and you will have a notice for, uh, for a tutor board. So this particular tutor board, what they do in here, there are the birthday slips. So they sort of have a look, see whose birthday is going on, when it's your birthday, you pop it in there and everybody sings happy birthday. Um, we have a look at what different activities people are doing in school, after school clubs, and we've got loads of clubs that you can do. Bit of information about each person, look on their hands here. 
your merits and rewards and all that sort of stuff, attendance will also go on this board for when you actually start with your tutor group. We've got some great new tutors who are going to be the Year 7 tutors next year. Hopefully you'll meet them soon. All right, moving on. We've got a one-way system at the minute, so we follow the arrows. Keep left in the corridors is also one of the rules that we like to keep. And at the end, through the doors, you will see our famous orchid project. So the orchid project was set up many years ago by Mr. Pugh Jones, and there are five different temperature control climates in there where the children actually build, uh, grow orchids. And we've got children at our school who go to um, Kew Gardens and the Eden Project and actually all around the world who teach other people how to grow orchids. That's from year seven upwards. So if you'd like to get involved, it's a really, really great thing to do. We have different courtyards that can be used by different students. This is called the upper school courtyard. Currently being used for football by our key worker students who are in school at the moment. Quite a few of them there. We have a fantastic site team in school as well who look after us and they are um, located just down here at the end. They look after the buildings, make sure it's all safe and clean for you guys to use. So carrying on, this is our creative arts corridor, one of them anyway. Music is a really big tradition at Ridlington, as is drama. Um, and we also have some great artwork as well for you to see upstairs. We've got different sorts of classrooms, whether they be for doing keyboard work or for drama. We actually have a dance and drama studio you can go into. Um, we also have lots of computers that you can use in school to make movies and that sort of stuff as well. So we try and encourage you to lose, use lots of different media in your creative lessons. We've got rooms where you can have lots of different um, uh, music lessons like guitar or singing or uh, piano. We're also lucky enough to have a radio studio, not in use at the moment, a TV studio with a blue screen on it so you can do different backdrops um, and lots of different areas for you to practice any uh, instruments that you might learn. Quite often you'll come down here and hear people drumming really loudly or playing different musical instruments and I can show you in here, this is one of the music rooms and you can see all the fantastic equipment that we have for you to be able to use. Okay, so more music and media along here with plenty more computer rooms as well, so we're lucky with that. I don't want to open these doors at the moment because they're actually sealed off ready for our groups of students coming back, which is quite important. Now, as we move on, you'll see that at the moment that corridor at the end is blocked off. So that's the arm of the school where we lost our roof. It's all being fixed at the moment and we're hoping to have at least half of the classrooms back in use by September, which would be really fantastic uh, because at the moment people have been being taught in the atrium and places like that. But from September we'll have more of our classrooms ready so you guys should be able to be taught upstairs there. But at the moment, no entry I'm afraid. We're going to head upstairs now. Arts. Now, this is our art department, and the lights should come on with this person, I'm hoping. <laughs> I'm hoping. Oh, just doing a bit of Yay! Yay! We have the light. So, this is one of our art studios, and you can see this is Mr. Turner's studio, and you can see the fantastic quality of the work that his students in year 11 have done. Really great rooms to learn in and to draw and to use lots of different media. So we're lucky to have the kind of, we've got three rooms just like this. On the walls, you'll see all the work that the children have done. And then I'm hoping we might be able to see some A-level work as well. So that's the sixth form, and see how fantastic that is. So the quality of the work you can see that our students are doing is absolutely brilliant. Quite awe-inspiring, I think. Okay, let's move on. So more art rooms down this corner. 
corridor. And then you see we're at the greenhouse end again of the school. And then we are going to walk along and go and see a couple more of the science labs. Hi, Miss. How are you? Shall I say hello to our new year six students? <laughs> hello. <laughs> <laughs> One of our science technicians. <laughs> so, you'll see on the walls, what we like to do is make sure that anything to do with the subject is kind of displayed on the walls. Um, and these are all the different formulae that you're going to need to do your science GCSE. So, get learning them now, year six. These are the sorts of rooms for science. And you'll see that what we do... Um, on every lesson, you will be given the date and the title. Really important that you always have the date and the title for your work. And then your learning objectives. So what it is you're going to get out of the lesson and be able to know and do and understand at the end of the lesson will be written on the board. Some teachers ask you to write that in their books. Some may not. But it's really important that you really understand what it is you're being asked to do in a lesson so that you can really work towards those goals. OK, so learning objectives. Every lesson you will get that. We also have a thing called do it now task. So as you walk into a room, there will be something for you to do straight away. It tries to draw on your memory from stuff you might have done weeks, months, or even a year ago to try and get you really thinking about the stuff you've learned before and bringing it back in your memory. When you get a bit older and you do exams, you will have to remember quite a lot of stuff. And if you start practicing, remembering that stuff and using your long-term memory, then you're going to do great in your exams. So that's what we try and do in our every single lesson that you have in school. So those are the science rooms. How are we doing for time, Miss? We all right? We're okay. We're on 11.47. Good, good. Okay, so more science labs down here. We don't want to open them because they have been cleaned, so we want to try and keep them as clean as possible for the moment. But this is called the upper ST corridor. So any rooms that are downstairs will be numbers one, two, three, four, etc. Any rooms that are upstairs will have a two on them. Okay, so that's quite important to remember. That's right, Miss. Yeah. In ST anyway. Yeah. <laughs> no, they're all like that. They're all like that. <laughs> okay, so you will see we've kind of done a full loop. More toilets there, there'll be year 10 toilets upstairs. We will go down to the year seven ones in a minute. But you'll see we're now at the top of the atrium, but upstairs, okay? Just on the other side here, this is where all our admin offices are, and we're really lucky to have a great team of people who support us on reception, in finance, in the general admin office, who make sure that all the behind-the-scenes stuff happens really well for us. I'm just going to show you one more corridor before we then go along to the canteen, really important place to see, and also the theatre. So let's go and have a look at what we call the top BE corridor. Hi, Miss. Another one of our lovely cleaners. Say hi to the Year 6 students. Good to see you. Good to see you. <laughs> Thank you. So what we have here are lockers, OK? And the lockers you'll find around the school in different places. All Key Stage 3 students, so that includes you, are entitled to have a locker. You will be allocated a number and all you need to do is bring your own lock into school and that locker will be yours for the year. So just don't leave any sandwiches and stuff like that in it otherwise it will start to get all nasty. But those are the kind of areas that you um, will leave your books and things. Now another important person for you to meet year six. Mrs Wilson's just going to turn around for me and there is the other deputy, Mr. Burr. Say hi, Mr. Burr. Hi, Mr. Hi, Mr. Burr. <laughs> I know I am Mr. Burr, you aren't are I? Mr. Burr, hi, you really? sexies. I'm Mr. Burr. I'm another deputy. I work on curriculum, so I do lots of things around the timetable, your lessons, assessments, making sure you get to learn lots of exciting things, um, tutor time assemblies in lessons, all throughout your experience in school. And I look forward to welcoming you soon. Thanks, uh, sir. Thanks, sir. Appreciate that. Okay, so up here in the um, top B corridor, we have languages and we do French here at Rivington and also we have uh, Mrs Wilson's room is based up here and she's a master of lots of trades so she'll <laughs> teach a few things but also we have history so the sorts of classrooms this is a, a, what you would call a normal classroom what you would expect with desks etc a bit blank at the moment because of course we've got no students in but there would be work up on the walls and that sort of stuff normally okay so that's one of our classrooms and on the other side of the corridor let's go into a history classroom miss 
So again, normal classroom with the sort of desks and things that you expect. We're really lucky at Ridlington to have such a great building, to have a really nice clean environment to work in uh, and to have such great equipment really. So, you know, thumbs up for that. We're, we're really chuffed with it. Okay, because we can't go all the way around the corridor at the moment because that's where the um, shut off bit is, we're going to go back along and let's go and show you the important place, the canteen. <laughs> Mrs. Wilson, anything you want to say whilst we're... Um, I don't think so. Only we are a cashless catering school, so you don't need to bring any money in to get your food. It will all be done by your thumbprint. So on your first day, you will get your thumbprint taken, and then from then on, you will just put it on the scanner, and that will automatically take money off your account. Uh, you need to be aware, though, your parents can log in and see what you're spending their money on. Yeah. Um, so just be careful of that when you decide to buy a load of chocolate cookies instead of a proper meal. <laughs> so you can see if we look through the windows over there where we've got workers on the roof actually, they're fixing it ready for you to return in September. So hopefully we'll have that whole wing of the building back which would be really exciting for us. Okay, so I said we have lots of computer rooms here at Middleton but we're also really lucky in that all the students um, are asked to, to have an iPad and we have a system in school where you can get an iPad. Um, we do really great learning through our iPads. It's not for games and things in school. It's not for WhatsApp, WhatsApp and Snapchat and stuff like that. In fact, we've got a system that shuts that down in school. But it, we do use something called Google Classroom, which during this time of the coronavirus has meant that our students have carried on learning just as they would have done had they been in school. So our teachers have been setting five lessons a day on Google Classroom, feeding back, marking work, etc. Um, and so our children have really, really managed to try and keep their routines during this uh, time of the coronavirus. So you will use um, Google Classroom next year. Okay, moving on, two places to show you. So this is our canteen and these are two of our fantastic ladies who are keeping our school super clean. Ladies, would you like to say hi to our New Year Sixes? There they are, <laughs> brilliant. So at the moment, obviously the canteen is being, the, the floor's being redone and you can see what a brilliant job the girls are doing on that. Um, and then the canteen itself, Miss, can you see over the bar? Yeah, just. So breaks and lunches, really great food that you can buy using your fingerprint. Um, and you can see, we also have a little canopy area out there where you can go and sit if it's raining and you don't quite want to go outside. There's plenty of space for you to be. But again, we do encourage you to get outside, get running around, getting all that energy burnt off so that when you come into lessons you're ready to learn and that's really super important. Another place that is good for you guys to know about is our learning support centre. So if you're one of the people and there's, you know, quite a lot of us have different things that we find difficult in our learning, any barrier to learning that you might have, this is the area where you will be able to get support. It also provides at break and lunchtime a really nice haven because you're coming to a much bigger school that can be quite noisy sometimes um, and this will provide a really nice haven for you to be able to come up at break and lunchtime if you are somebody that doesn't want the hustle and bustle of being around the school during breaks and lunches. Okay, so we're lucky to have this. And then, the pièce de résistance. <laughs> so we don't have a school hall, although we do have a sports hall. What we have is a theatre. So we are really, really lucky to have a fantastic stage, all this brilliant seating, and once a week you will have your assembly in here. So that's a really formal part of your year group where you will come and obviously really key important messages, um, some fun times as well. So we do celebration assemblies and things too. And each week there are prizes for the tutor group that attends, has attended the best that week, that's got the most merits, etc., who's done the most improved attendance in their group and we try and celebrate those things as much as possible. You'll also have an opportunity, if you want to do some music or some drama, to perform on our stage as well. So a couple of years ago we did We Will Rock You, a few years back we did Les Miserables, and I'm sure Miss Whitehead will be looking to do some more productions in the very near future, which we would like you to be a part of. And a couple of times a year we also have concerts in here. Christmas concert is always a really nice one, so that you know if you want to learn an instrument, you can get involved in this too. So really, I think that is a very quick whistle, top, uh, whistle stop tour of our school. Um, you met a couple of the people, not many staff in today unfortunately, um, but we will try and introduce you to key staff over the next few weeks. Now remember, if you have any questions about school, 
whether it be about the tour now or any things you want to ask about starting in September or even about the booklet that we've sent out to you, then if you email kwilson at ridlington.org.uk and we'll put the link in the bio, then we will attempt to answer your questions next week on our YouTube channel. So please do get your questions coming in and Mrs Wilson and I will do a question and answer next week. Right, take care. We hope to see you soon and hopefully you enjoyed that. Bye, Essex. <laughs>